Second going to be Austin Johnson from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania in first place as a team. No one's coming close to them. Yeah, Hopke, I was able to interview him. Uh, seemed like, you know, really, really motivated kid, hard working kid, plays football too. Um, but he's, he, he talked about wanting to win Greco as well and finish off that triple crown. Hopke out front. Good job from Johnson there, able to square up and not give up any points. Ooh, that arm's kind of bent up in there, but no problem. Hopke gets on top. He tends to know what to do from here, too. Guts to the right, keeping Johnson in bounds. Johnson's crawling for that out of bounds. Hopke going to try to gut it back in. Johnson steps over. Two for Johnson. Yeah, great job there. Looked like it was just kind of going to be another gut going over for Hopke, but Johnson able to get on the board, and now just four to two. It really did. It looked like not only was he, you know, in, in danger going over, it looked like he was just crawling straight for the out of bounds to try to mm -hmm. end up position that mm -hmm. way, but he really had other intentions, and Hopke now pulls him down. I try to go around behind again. Johnson clasping onto that elbow, but Hopke is able to get it free, get on top, 6-2 now. Seems like it's just been so easy for him to get to that front headlock position. And once he's there, you know, this, the scoring is imminent. Got wrench, Hopke. You gotta wonder if that step over from Johnson maybe giving Hopke pause, especially because he has other ways to score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's made it look pretty easy scoring a couple times on his feet. So probably smart not to try to force something if it doesn't feel right. First period comes to a close, four-point lead for Koi Hopke. Yeah, Hopke talked in his interview after uh, his freestyle title about it. You know, his relationship with his dad and his dad pushing him a little bit and how they like to mess around and, and joke around with our, with each other. And so, yeah, my dad likes to take credit for for all my success. But um, he goes, I, I definitely give him credit for my size. And <laughs> uh, he says, I'm hoping to hoping to grow a couple more inches so I can be bigger than my dad. Hey, credit where um, credit's due. Right, right. But um, it says he gets his toughness from his mom. So <laughs> <laughs> This man... He knows where he knows what you know what's up. Yeah. Yeah, we could see Hopke at heavyweight in the future. So he's probably looking to you know, hit the weight room, put on a few pounds, and he's got the frame to do it. Right. And, I mean, plenty of plenty of height already, plenty big for 220, and now snaps down and looking for something big, maybe on the edge, out of bounds, just one. Yeah. Whistle had blown dead. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. The whistle. Was it blown considerable enough time, you know, where, to where it was too early for him to uh, score that out of bounds? Big underhook for Hopke. Drag there, Johnson. Just a minute to go. Hopke gets around behind. for Hockey. And action whistle dead. 33 seconds to go, 9-2. Hockey very much in control of this one. Now 
Mount Johnson gets on top. It's nine to four, not much time to work. Looking for a reverse lift, blown dead, six, five seconds to go. Time's gonna run out in this one. Coy Hopke, 9-4 winner over Austin Johnson, and he pulls off the triple crown. Hopke and Mauger both getting it done. Big award for those guys. Yeah, Hopke kind of in control that whole match and getting to that front headlock position, able to score. But, you know, you give it up for for Austin Johnson and fighting till the end, score, trying to score to the last second. Hopke just kind of a step ahead in every position. He really was. 